Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my NVIDIA app settings, NVIDIA control panel settings and also NVIDIA profile inspector setup. These videos take some time and effort to make uh, along with my full time job and I don't earn anything from this channel so I'd highly appreciate you guys leaving a like on the video if it helps you out. If you're into flight simulation and aviation and don't want to miss out on any content that I upload please please make sure you leave a subscription on the channel as well. It really helps out the channel more than you think and it also helps with my motivation to make these videos let's get into first of all my nvidia app settings okay so first things first on the nvidia app we would go to settings and we will disable nvidia overlay and also game filters and photo mode because uh, i've heard from my friend that this does cause stutters on some systems so you're better off just disabling it then you go to graphic settings and these settings are pretty much going to be the exact same for msfs 2024 and 2020 as well so dynamic vibrance is off because I already have HDR monitor. Everything looks really good. I don't need any more vibrance from uh, from my GPU. GPU selected, I'm forcing it to use 5090. You can use just the global one that will that'll still force it to use 5090. But if you have a CPU graphic card, you know, just make sure that it's looking at the graphic card that you want it to look at. DLSS settings, I think this everyone knows by now, latest, latest on here. Frame generation, you're going to override it through the application, so nothing there. Super resolution through the application, nothing there. DSR factors does not apply for flight sims, smooth. All of these are off. I'm not going to talk through all of them. And I've shown you my whole, you know, stutter free setup in the last video. I'll link that video down below as well so that you can check that out. But my monitor technology is set to fixed refresh rate, even though my monitor is G-Sync compatible. And I've explained why in that video. Uh, Vulkan open GL preset method is global auto. Power management mode is prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering, if you look at the description, you will see that allow leads to higher performance. So I've, I've set it to allow because setting it to clamp didn't really increase my uh, texture fidelity or anything. And then again, vertical sync is on because that's just how I run my uh, flight sim. I run it locked at 120 FPS with frame gen. And I also lock my monitor refresh rate to 120 FPS. I've explained all of that in the video that I just talked about. It's linked in the description if you want to watch that in full. So that does it for my NVIDIA app settings. Next, we'll go through the NVIDIA control panel settings because there are some settings that are not there here. You would be setting it in the control panel. Okay, so now coming on to the control panel, I have Microsoft Flight Sim selected. Image sharpening is sharpened to 0.65 and ignore film grain to 0.16. Now, if you guys don't have this setting in here, there's a way to get it. Go to your registry editor on Windows. So you just click on the Windows icon and type registry and that, that will give you registry editor. And then just look for enable GR535. That's the one that you need to double click and then make this value zero. That should give you an option for image sharpening on your NVIDIA control panel. Now this is not something that I found out. So all the credits to Flight Sim today and also Virtue Sim. Both of them have made videos on this. So if you want to watch that in detail, I'll link their videos down below. Huge shout out to them as well. Ambient occlusion, it's not supported by this application. So no, most of these settings will come over from what you've set in the NVIDIA app, but there are just a couple of them that you need to, you need to set on your own. Anisotropic filtering is application control because we are setting that inside MSFS. All of that, all of the other settings, you can see them down here. Most of them are off. Gamma correction is on because I wanted to correct gamma for anti-aliasing. And then this, it came over from NVIDIA app. So we are not touching that. I think the only other one that we need to touch here is an isotropic sample optimization that is set to on. So if you set that to on, like it says, higher performance with minimal loss in image quality. Sure, give me that. Negative load bias, we already changed it to allow. Texture filtering quality is set to high performance because why not? Trilinear optimization, uh, again, set to on because that leads to higher performance with minimal loss in image quality. And then as I go down, uh, the only thing extra that you need to set here is uh, triple buffering set to on. So when you're using VSync, which I do, and like I said, it's all in that other video, turning this setting on improves performance when VSync is also turned on, like it says here. So. I always keep triple buffering to on. Uh, virtual reality pre-rendered frame is set to one. The more you increase this number, uh, the more latency you're going to get, but the better will be the performance. 
Anyway, that's pretty much it for NVIDIA control panel settings. And then now we will get on to the NVIDIA profile inspector. I wanted to make this video quick, so I'm not going into a lot of details because I know you guys just want to know what exactly I'm running. Okay, so now coming on to the NVIDIA profile inspector, I don't change much here because whatever you have set in the NVIDIA app and in the NVIDIA control panel would pretty much like you see uh, follow through on here as well. Like for example, uh, fixed refresh rate came right through from our previous settings, all of that. I think the only one that I really want to mention here is rebar enable. Make sure that you try out disabled on this and also enabled on this. A lot of people on my previous videos have commented, so I, that's why I wanted to include it in this video. Um, and basically profile inspector section is there in this video only for this uh, rebar thing. Now, personally, I don't see any benefit in uh, in VRAM usage or in, in the visuals or in the overall FPS. Uh, but that just may be because I have a pretty hefty system. If you're running anything different, maybe a lower end system or a m medium or high end system you would I, I think you should try out uh, setting this to disabled and also enabled and compare performance and see which one gives you a better performance but uh, overall yeah all my settings are right here I haven't really changed anything from uh, from what the panel and app sets it to so anyway that's it for today's video and I hope this was helpful to you guys. I just wanted to put it out there because there were a couple of comments on my other videos about what I do with my NVIDIA app, NVIDIA control panel, stuff like that. So just wanted to upload this in combination with the other stutter free guide that I had upload be uploaded before so that you guys have a complete overview of how I'm, how I'm setting up my sim. But anyway. Thanks again for watching and uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. Make sure you leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any content and uh, I will see you guys on the next one.